If I don't hit Lurk this round, I'm like, so bad. So I, I could develop, um, Sharkling. Please hit Lurk, please hit Lurk, please hit Lurk, please hit Lurk. Oh, is it Rex Flash? Okay. Missed Lurk turn one, but we actually caught back up. Out here, yeah, because I just need to develop like twice. Another Rek'Sai? It's actually lethal, he has to block this. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just gonna go over like the guide part of the video. So, I'm pretty comfortable where the list is at right now, I think. I've tried many different variations, I guess we'll get into like what you could change after. But, um, but I'm pretty sure this is like a pretty good list. I've beat a lot of um, decks as you'll see um, after this. Um, but yeah, we'll just get into it. So, you obviously need the one drops. Um, I mean, the Lurk decks kind of build themselves, right? Um, you, you need to have the one drops. Uh, one of the important additions though to the deck is Treasure Seeker. So, Treasure Seeker is good for multiple different reasons. So, um, the, the main things is because it gives you Waking Sand. So, well, if, well, again, first of all, it gives you extra odds of getting like a one drop because you really need to Lurk on turn one. So having extra chances at um at like for your mulligan to have a one drop is really important. Um, but the, but the waking sand is actually really good. So um, one of the first things is that a lot of times if you're attacking on like turn two, um, they'll have they can have a three health stat line unit that would you would trade badly into, and so being able to like send the st the, the charger ahead to um, trigger your lurk is like really good because it either trades into that unit which when you would have got a bad trade um, or they just take five and dealing five to them is really important I think it really helps like make sure you can finish them off later with like swarming or overwhelm so it's just really important um, hard to have um, technically you can also pair it with like um, a bone skewer as if you really have to um, to get rid of a, like get rid of a really important target, but for the most part, you don't need to do that. Um, yeah, just it just treasure seeker is super important to the deck, I think. And I don't think it's like cuttable. Um, then you have Chronomancer. This is potentially cuttable, but if you do cut it, you'd want to find something with a predict in it. Um, and I think the two three body is is really good. Like a lot of the things um, in Battle Tree only have two attack, and so being able to get like two trades with this is like is really good. A lot of times they don't want to block it because it, they won't get a good trade, and so you just get like little chips of two damage in. So I think Chronomancer is really good in the deck, but this is potentially cuttable, I guess. If you find something that makes more sense. Um, Bone Skewer, you need to run three. I've experimented with two and stuff. Um, people, some people even have zero, but I think Pike is like the best card in this deck. Um, if for some reason you're going to cut this, you'd have. I think you'd have to go into like leveling up Rek'Sai with like the, um, the Ruthless Predator card. But I think Bone Skewer is so good with Pike. Just um, Pike being able to wipe the boards with, with like elusives or like swarm decks like Mantle Tree is just so good. And so I think you need three Bone Skewers. Um, Call a Pack is really good. I've actually been finding out recently, by the way, that you actually want to keep this in your mulligan a lot of the time. Because a lot of times you're going to get, um, you're just going to natural a Pike or a Rek'Sai um, without lurking it. Or, or even if you do lurk it, like putting it back into the top, um, like a Rek'Sai is, is just really good. Um, as well as giving you like refuel. Um, but mainly I use it for like, if I, if I, I, for some reason I've been always drawing pikes like without, on like my off turns where I don't lurk. And it sucks to just play a pike legit. So calling the pack onto it is, is really good. And I've, um, I've been keeping this a lot actually. Then, um, Hammer Snout, obviously you need to put it in the deck. Um, giving everything vulnerable is really good, like, making Nami vulnerable is, is really annoying for them, I think you'll see in one of the games. Um, it's, it feels really bad to make it, like, to grant it vulnerable. Um, and yeah, like, getting rid of, like, Nami or Elusives or, like, things like Mayor or Vigar, like, it's just so important for the deck. And yeah, generally save this, 
or like a high priority target. You, you don't, in rare circumstances, you can play it um, without a good target, for the, but for the most part, you want to be able to wait for the right target. And this deck, this deck allows you to, pr to play pretty slow um, the way it's built. So you don't have to just like always like smork, like fucking balls to the wall, like get terrible trades and all that stuff. Like you don't really need to do that. And so just just generally save this um, for a, like a target you really need to get, need to get rid of. Um, Swarm obviously really good. It lets you um, get a lurk on defensive turns. Um, gives you bet better odds of drawing like uh, lurking into a pike and stuff when you can lurk on defensive turns as well. But sometimes you're um, if you don't lurk, if you like if you didn't have Snapjaw, you would have just drawn a fucking pike or a Rek'Sai, and it feels bad. Yeah, Swarm is really good. Um, I keep it a lot of the time if I'm, if I'm attacking on evens. I mean on odds, sorry. And yeah, obviously, obviously you need in the deck. Um, the rest kind of speak for themselves. Exerxot, like Caller, you generally, I if you already have a turn one play, um, and you're attacking on odds, I'll keep this. But obviously, it's a really good card. Lets you predict and lurk. Um, Pike's the best card in the deck. You have to run Xerxareth. It's like having the spell shield is actually really good. I think right now in this meta. Um, and yeah, it's the way to close up the game with Overwhelm. Dunebreaker is debatably cuttable. Um, a lot of people don't run it. Uh, it's it doesn't feel that good sometimes, but it, um, but again, just having overwhelm is is kind of really important. Like you never really have control of the board. Um, like past like even like round three, it seems like now with like mayor and like Bandle City being so prevalent, they can just swarm so fast that like you need over you need some sort of keyword like overwhelm or elusive to be able to um, beat a lot of the decks right now. And so yeah, overwhelm is just. Kind of premium right now. Then you have um, Jawfish. So Jawfish is I used to cut that too, but um, it works really well right now. Um, sometimes like it's it's really good against like if you survive until turn eight against like the elusives or Bandle Tree, then just wiping like their whole board is just really good. Excuse me, sorry. So um, yeah. So that's why like also because of this card, it lets you like slow play, which is pretty important. So like. Against a lot of decks, you don't have to take bad trades. Um, like it, it maybe you used to in the past, just playing like aggro. You don't need to play this like an aggro. You can you can just make the good trades that you, like you can with um with good with good stat units, with like quick attack like pike and stuff. And then once you get to like leaking with jawfish, um you just destroy their whole board and then you get to win off that. Um or or you just or you keep your units alive so you can board wipe them with pike and again just tax through. So. Yeah, you don't need to be playing too crazy. And Jawfish really helps you like play for like the slower game against a lot of decks. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a, um, the debatable cards. You, like I had Rite of Negation in the deck originally. Um, and it doesn't feel too bad. It actually won me some games, um, but it just, it, it felt pretty clunky a lot of the times. So I didn't put it in, but you can potentially think about that. You can potentially think about Bloodbait. Blood bait's not bad, um, especially if you if you lurk a Rek'Sai, being able to like blood bait to get another uh, Rek'Sai trigger um, on the on the defensive turn is just it, it spirals like the um, the deck so hard. Like I can imagine making a different version of the deck with like blood baits and um, what's it called? Uh, Ruthless Predator. Like if you were to like find a way to. Put in blood baits, cut like maybe even bone skewer, and just go full into like the Rexai level up. You could probably level up Rexai really fast um, if you if you really wanted to. But this deck kind of plays for like the um, the Pike the Pike Win Con. Um, but yeah, you can think about Ray of Negation, think about blood bait, think about Feral Prescience. Um, I think that's basically it though of things like consider for the deck. Um, but yeah, this deck has been working out really well for me. Hope you guys like it, and um, hope you guys enjoy the games. I beat like a lot of good decks, like a lot of the meta decks, like Bandle Tree, um, Nami Zoe, like Darkness. I've beat like all of them, and pretty consistently too. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you guys. Mm. Unbun man.
I think we lose this guy actually. Which is pretty bad. They didn't get the one drop. Alright, I need to switch off Lurk for a little bit because I've never been this unlucky before. Don't understand. I think Pike's better than um Darkseid. Well, what have we here? But the only problem with that. Is that um You don't get to threaten You don't get to threaten her. She gets a spray. Yeah, if I take Rexai then you can't actually like we can actually threaten Draven or K so maybe it's better. But no, I just had to fucking I just can't keep not lurking on him. It's so important. Sure. Now he has no protection for... I think Caitlyn is more scary. I was thinking about just um, open attacking because then it's harder for him to kill this um, in one action than two. Also, maybe I'll stun this right now. I mean, we always bone screw though whenever he goes to kill it though. But yeah, stunning his time on. Oh, he stuns this one. I guess he plans on killing this. I guess if he wants to kill this, then we do this so his Draven dies. We miss. Fuck you, Lurk again! We miss like every fucking game! Wait, only does two. Did you think he was gonna do three? I guess he should have dragged it with um, Pike then, that kinda sucks. I thought he was gonna kill it, like, for sure. It's awkward. I, I, yeah, I think he thought that was gonna do three. Because now he can wipe his whole board if he want to. Plus one strike usually, and then he levels up. They all sink before they float. I hope we can't kill that right now. Maybe I'll ping it though, and then uh. We just like do this and get him down pretty weak. Hmm. 
No. I think we have a board wipe with Pike Bone Skewer. So we go wide, right? Because we can always, like, um, kill this whole board if he tries to summon it. This is like overwhelmed so it can help us win the game after. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Oh, that's kinda nice. He has no more mana, right? So we should just be able to bone skewer this. And be chilling, right? Damn, I thought we were going to lose to Caitlyn, David. Let's go. Finally. <laughs> oh, because he messed up, but didn't kill my pike that one turn. And we got infinite bone skewers. No. Wait, it's Nami TS. I only try to keep that two. This one, if I'm, I'm, uh, what's it called? Attacking on on evens. No one drop again. Great, love it. Fantastic. I'm now gonna just keep taking call the packs because like I have infinite champions in my fucking hand. To keep us safe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I call it back for Pike first. I, I want to have a. See what I've learned. I want to have a Pike spell in hand for Nami. My people are counting on me. He probably just kills this Nami. I mean, he kills this um Pike, but. He's we killed Nami. I guess I just risk this, right? Or do I save the mana to do like a Rek'Sai? I think I, maybe I do save the mana. We can do this later, I guess. It's like two damage. What is it? It's, I think it's a ways to do it now. Brace the current or be swept away. Does it matter damage? Get some damage in. Oh, I'm scared because he's gonna go like ham with verbal fishes soon. Sucks that he drew second Nami. I swear, how do they draw so many Namis? Okay, if he doesn't kill us this turn though, we might be chilling. That's just a lot of mana to use this turn. How many spells did I do use? One. I am the tide caller. I will drive back the darkness. Oh, that gave him a tune with the blue card. Group. Ah, f since I missed Lurk turn 1, I'm like so far behind. Uh, I can't attack, I can't attack, obviously. Um, I could just do this. Get free damage in. I do want to Lurk on this turn because I missed turn 1 Lurk. So 
So the good thing is like if I if I um Rek'Sai, I can guarantee I can guarantee alert because I can use the other Rek'Sai to call the pack in something else, and then Rek'Sai will put that to eight I think. Although I don't know if the Rek'Sai attack um buffs this. Actually, yeah, it does. Right, I just need to do it. Right, how the Rek'Sai attack first. Um. Looks like trouble. I mean, I can just do that, right? Don't touch it. This thing sucks. Oh, Nami's buffing the TF. Fuck. That's real life. Okay, so... So we want to be able to Rek'Sai. And then, um... I think we call the pack with the other Rek'Sai to guarantee that we get this to um, overwhelm. Even though that doesn't actually kill him, right? Hmm. Because Rek'Sai won't level up. Maybe I start with predict. <sighs> if I predict, I can still, um... Like, I guess he'd hope for Rek'Sai. If I hit Rek'Sai, we just... We're big chilling, right? Because we we just Rek'Sai and guarantee hit 10. But there's no way we hit Rek'Sai this lurk, do we? If we just do this, this is like some, this is threatening like lethal, but then we're not, we don't have, um, no, cause this won't be overwhelmed. Ah, uh, I guess we back side. I don't like any of these options. We're, we're like one off every time. That's why it's so important to hit, like, be able to lurk on turn one. I have to uh, change this list. I guess we could try to hit Rek'Sai right here. We can hit Pike. And Pike's not bad. Now this should hit, um, eight. I think you need this to go off first to give this to eight. Um. Yeah. He's at five out of nine too, so I don't know if he wants it to die. Oh, that's kind of annoying. That's actually kind of cool. Wait, Jury Rig with Nami is actually pretty cool. It becomes a 3-2, like burst speed 3-2. It's always the weakest unit. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, he has to block with everything, right? Because he can't let this and the, and the overwhelm go through. Like, man, if we hit a lurk on turn one, we actually just win guaranteed because of that, right? That's so lame. But all I have to lose with our dead except for this one. And he still needs to, to survive until next. I don't think he can kill us this next attack. Let's with Pike spell. Like, what's, what's our lurk at? Plus six? We have an eight Pike. I kind of wish we could jawfish this turn. But I, I don't think I can jawfish this turn and risk um, not having Pike spell. For an elusive. I think that'd be too scary. Man, Jawfish should be so good though this turn. Like, he only has a couple cards in his hand, right? It probably was just a Jawfish. Because he does have that, but then he has like two cards to buff it. I don't think he could go that crazy with it. Um, and Jawfish, like, should guarantee kill both or one of them at least. I actually don't want that to level up, right? I probably just do this, and we have another. And then he, there's another overwhelm he has to deal with, because he really wants to kill this, right? Stack in the eye. That's fine. He hit the right one actually, but we still have an overwhelm, and this is an overwhelm. 
Pike still killed it. Yeah, I think we're chilling. Because, um. We attack. Oh, we're chilling. We're attacking the Pike first. Yeah, we're attacking with Pike first. Um, and then. He, does, he probably can kill it with a spell if he top decks something, if he can, then he has to block it, which which just kills like his whole board or whatever. You open attacking anyways, and one of his one of my things have spell shield, there's no cards in hand, so it's just, like, just guaranteed win in like 10 different ways. Oh, Zoe not me far. Um, it's kind of weird to keep Bone Sphere, but I think I actually need to, like, the only way I win this, I think, is by leveling a Pike. Which means we might need a bunch of Bone Spheres. Like, we need to hit a Pike on a Lurk. Ah, fuck. Um, I don't really like... The good, um, I don't like having Pike in my hand, but the good thing about this play is that... Okay, so I have to think about this, because... Ideally, what he wants to do is just pass this turn, right? To bank more mana. If I play Waking Sands, we can possibly get it in for seven. Um, and it, it might even actually make him play Double Tablet right now, which fucks up his timing to get to get the uh, Nami online leveled, which is probably better than just protecting. And then doing seven, if like if he just does pass like he wants to, then um, doing seven is probably really good. I mean, he just probably can heal it back, so I'm not actually sure about that. But he wants to pass, so he gets a deal seven. And he wants a double trouble, I think, if he has it. If he doesn't have double trouble, that's really good for us. Like, if he just, like, guiding his Nexus and then, like, plays Nami, that's fine. Like that. that suggests no, um... Yeah. That's fine, I just block it with this shitter. I actually think I need to save, um... The man out of bone skewer pike. Next turn. Do I care about bone screen pike next turn though? I mean I do if it's Nami, right? Which it probably is. I mean to kill it like ASAP, so yeah, I probably just pass this, bank the mana. So I can play Pike next turn. I think I actually do care about my health in this matchup because of all the elusive damage. Did he like not think I blocked that or why is he like hesitating? Also, I, I really am glad that he used um, ulti for that because usually what they do is they um spell see my bone skewer and fuck me up and like keep keep one of their um cards alive it's really good in um in the elusives i think because okay there's no nami thank god we hit lurk right there blindly Oh, it's a grant, so it's fine. I was kind of scared. Um, so we're chilling. I am the tide caller. I will drive back the darkness. I think we play the um the fish to try to get um. We play this fish. We can get our pike possibly to.
two five attack. Uh, maybe we play this first to make sure we get a lurk. Maybe we can get a rex hive really good. Fuck. That's fine, I guess. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. So now when we play um fucking Snapjaw, our pike will be at five, which will play around um guiding. I'm not guiding, sorry, uh, Pale Cascade. Like, he can actually block this. I don't actually think I mind. Because I need this to be weaker to kill it later, probably. With, um, Pike. Actually, I wonder. Hmm. If I knew he was gonna do that line, like theoretically in hindsight, I should have piked um, first, like Bone Skewer first, and then Snapjaw to get the Pike spell back in hand. Um, but I, I don't know if I'm supposed to know that he's gonna pl he's gonna tap out of defensive spells. Do I care about my mana? Next turn, I'm going to have six mana. Possibly plus two. I have a pike coming. Hmm. I have a pike and then the predict one, right? The pred fucking. I don't think it matters. My, yeah, my top deck is this Pike. I think I always play it. I don't think they have um, that much removal. He actually ran Make It Rain, which is kind of crazy. Um, but he actually played another Nami, right? So, like, he used one Nami spell. Right? Nami's ebb. So he actually played Nami and then used this Nami spell. So hopefully he has no fucking Nami's in hand. That would be kind of crazy if you drew all three Nami's. This can't make it to the Overwhelm Threshold yet, so I think we just play Pike. And if we hit Lurk with this, um, then we, uh... We're almost at the point where he can just kill everything. I Only I want to call the pack and, like, keep fucking up my, um, shit. But I need to kind of hit the Lurk. Oh, I knew I had Lurk, I had to pick one. Predict fish, right? Because I predicted with this um, or with one of the cards into a uh, three cost predict, and then I put Pike on top of that. That's good, the fish is dead. And now I'm going to play the predict fish, and I'm trying to get a. Um, Pike or Bone Skewer. So I think I really just want that want to be able to wipe his board. He shouldn't have a Nami, hopefully. He's had two draws, I guess, with a with two Namis in deck, but okay. I'm kinda down to skip actually. I, I really just want Pike or Bones here. As long as he can't kill me this turn, we're probably fine. Because we can always Jawfish next turn. And Pike will hopefully strike something first <laughs> instead of something else striking it first. Um, I could also call the pack onto Jawfish, because I don't have Jawfish next turn, but I could call the pack to try to get, like, more fish on the board. Since I already don't know I'm, what I'm getting next turn. And that's probably fine, actually, right? I 
And then my next, uh, it still might be the um, pike or bone skewer like I wanted to, wanted it to be. Yeah, I think we want to try to get him. Fuck. What's well, Jal though? Anyways, we can do this. I guess still. <laughs> still no fucking pike. This is not bad though. It doesn't work on that turn, but we can skip again. So Pike, this strikes the fucking right one. Wait, are, did the Pike strike actually last? I wonder if the order actually matters. Cause we could have submitted an attack, like a fake attack, and switched our order. Cause it looks like the right goes first, and then it goes like across. Yeah, it does. So knowing that, since we want Pike to strike first, we should have made sure Pike was on the right. We should have submitted an attack. And switch the order of our units around. Kind of weird to think about. We want Pike to strike the first thing, I think. Oh, it probably doesn't matter though. <laughs> That's something to think about in the future. And now he has quite the task. Let's go! We fucking Nami! Dude, Pike's like hard MVP in this deck. I actually think this deck doesn't even fucking need Rek'Sai. Alright, that might be a bit too hot of a take. But like, Rek'Sai kind of sucks. Like, you just get many more of stunned. Um. Like, I don't know. Flocked. Like, hit and flocked. I don't fucking know. He's pretty bad. Mainly this stunned and. He either gets like right away killed. Or he gets stunned, or mini morphed. And he's like hard to get to like 10 without playing like other spells to buff it. We really need a one drop. I mean, I can keep this. I, I actually kind of like having Snapjaw. I feel like it gives me a better chance to lurk Pike early. Never mind. I can never get one drops. I keep forgetting to change my deck. I need to put the extra one drop in here. I swear I never get one drops. And it's so bad. Like you have to be able to lurk turn one. Do you attack on turn one? Ah, oh, we can't even do this because we didn't get to lurk turn one. Yeah, I don't know why I kept this. This is actually a really bad keep. Yeah, unless you already have a one drop. If you already have a one drop, because like, I can't attack with this now, like he just kills it with that and it's like, what the fuck? I can do this, I guess. We can always rely Since we're on no, we don't need to lurk this time, we can take Bone Skewer. Set up a potential pike later. Got a surprise for him. Don't touch it. So I feel like I guess could make it rain if I play this. So I guess I'm down to just do this. I didn't hit lurk. Sick. Fucking sick. Man. Dude, today is testing me, man. It's testing me. For sure. It is turn four. We have not lurked a single fucking time. Gotta go with the flow. This is the biggest FF angle I've seen in a while. Further. 
Bingo. <laughs> I like that too. That's so bad. This thing is at a 2 6 on turn 5. Dude, like, I should have. I should have already lurked like three times before this turn. Possibly even four because of Snapdog again. This could literally be a 6 6 already. And potentially already leveling up if I hit a Rek'Sai. Fine, right? Who says I don't share? It's a trap. <sighs> bike, bike, bike. They all before they float. Um, actually that was pretty troll. That was actually pretty troll me. I didn't need to attack with that one. Uh, I should attack with the, the pike onto that one for sure. And then attack with that one. Cause that one might just get blocked by that, but that's fine. Like that, that was like a horrible fucking attack. Don't do that. This game is actually just chalk. Embrace the current or be swept away. Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai. Fuck. Best run while you can. He's hitting Black Anon. No! No! It's a tune. I am Tide Caller. I will drive back the darkness! He should only have to be dealing with this leveled up next turn. Okay, he's gonna fucking see oh. hope. This game. Okay, here's what I want to know. Cause someone told me I could do this yesterday, but I don't know if it's actually true. If I were to bone skewer right now, and then um, and then snapjaw, would I get the pike lurk? Even though I already lurked this turn, I don't think so, right? Cause you only lurk once a turn. It says max once per round, right? Better hurry if you want to stay off my list. And when I lurk, transform me into death from blow, right? So it doesn't it shouldn't work, right? Cause I already lurked this turn. Make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. This does not make any sense. Let the tide carry you. Lady smiling. Is Nami scarier than TF? I was thinking of blocking this and then killing that. And I save two health, but then Nami's alive. I'd probably do this. I'm less scary. 
There's like no cards though. I actually can't bone spear now this turn. But if he can't kill this pike right here, um, even though it's a shitty fucking attack, our next bone spear will actually kill us on board. What wondrous discoveries await below? I'll take my share. Right side. Does it? I guess we just kill one of his things. I have a blocker. Also, I don't know if I use the one he's he seen. He knows I can just wipe his whole board with this stuff, right? Oh no! Stop! He's fucking pranked me infinite times. I actually need to keep this at like 8 mana, right? So I can only use like 3 mana. I think I just chill, because my pike will kill us whole board. <laughs> as long as I keep enough mana for it. If I keep all this mana, I can survive two pranks. Okay, fair enough. Not getting the pike spell. Hello, you best friend. Rex side, rex side, rex side, rex side, rex side, rex Okay. So go overwhelm. I'm so scared. I can't use my pike spell. I need to save that in case of elusives and shit. <laughs> I guess I just pass because there's no real reason to kill these things, right? I mean, I guess I can do this. Because I can get a lurk. It is the Rek'Sai, right? You have to attack with something. And this shouldn't die to anything. My life or theirs. I'm so scared because he could have like... Make it rain, you could have the um, line him up thing. I guess like, if he does line him up, I just like hike the keg, but. He can't actually take these. He can't prank these, right? Because it's Pike spell. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. He can't pike these, he has to. Two cards from my randomly from my deck. <laughs> yeah. I guess Jawfish? Yeah, he doesn't, he can't do anything. He knows you have a pike. We just destroyed his whole board. 
Man, that was actually crazy. We had such bad fucking openers and we keep winning. Oh no, we're against the fucking Lurk Mirror. And I've been getting unlucky all day with Lurks. Where are my fucking one drops? Oh, there we go. Okay, natural a pike? Oh, no, oh, no, not right now. Just wait one fucking draw. What's kind of funny is I can play this now. None, none of these can block it, right? But I can play this, and he has to either kill his unit or give up lurk, which he doesn't want to give up lurk. Cause he just fucking he just predicted probably into a pike. It's kind of scary though, because a lot of times whoever plays Pike first loses. Now we get to bank some mana. So here's what sucks. If I play Pike and he already lurked into a Pike, which he probably did already on it, pay attention actually though, I should have paid attention to his hand to see what he lurked those, that one turn, because that's actually super important in the mirror. If I can, so if I can see that he lurked into one of the regular units, I can actually play Pike straight up right now with no fear. Um, but if he if, if he has his own Pike spell and he um, Pikes my Pike, then it's kind of over. If I pass, I can just pass. But like it's really good for him. Like I probably like it's really good for him to just accept this pass. Cause I lose my lurk this turn, um, and he gets more mana than me. So like this turn could have just lost me the game. But I I feel like too scared to play Pike if he has Pike. I need him to have a unit in there so I can protect my Pike from his Pike with my Bone Skewer. If I play Pike and he just Pikes, I I can't Bone Skewer into any unit. Also, now he's expecting me to have Pike spell in my hand. I was thinking of that in the last turn, by the way, too. Just a Rek'Sai, a random Rek'Sai. Um, I wonder if he can actually like get that over the threshold. If he has a, if he has like a way to call the pack another Rek'Sai in hand, that's very scary. Does he want to like bone skewer something? But I'm not playing it. I don't know that I 
a pike saw. Looks like he just trades this. Oh, he didn't. Okay, nice. May I pike now? Is that's good? Pretty sure since he used pike first, we're killing. And now we have pike spell in our own hand. We actually have such small amount of lurks though from that one turn. I knew he had a pike spell in his hand. And at least pikes is uh, six as well. Wait, I have to kill it right now, right? I think I have to bone skewer next side right now. Take nine, we block that. That's good, right? Like playing Earthside right now doesn't do anything for me. But maybe it's good to just like... Like why though? Like Rek'Sai, unless I hit another Rek'Sai, which would be nuts. <laughs> would just be Nia attack. I think I just play Pike. I have a bone here in case he has um, another Pike. Didn't even hit Lurk. That's so lame. So now it's actually pretty scary. If he has his own Pike spell or Bone Skewer, we just lose, I think. Yeah, if he has um, Bone Skewer or Pike, I think we just lose. If he doesn't, then we're good, I think. It's fine. I can't predict how I want the pike. We got another pike, <laughs> that's really good. It's all the Pike Show, man. It's all the Pike Show. 
And now it's good because now even like he just loses like matter what. Because even with bone spear, it doesn't matter. Don't touch it. I think we do it. Oh no, actually, we have to do it on this, right? Because if he wants to bone skewer this, then if we like, so if we do it on this, he could bone skewer and then still do the overwhelm. Got to make sure we kill this. I think we're good. Uh, unless he has a right of negation, but I, he probably, I probably don't run that. Damn, we beat the mirror. It's just whoever has more bikes. <laughs> just gotta get better at hitting lurks. Ripper's Bay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That guy is so fucking bad. Bro, I keep getting pike in my hand. I don't want it in my hand. I want to lurk it. I want you to just just be nearby, pike. You don't need to do all this. I do have call the pack. I swear sometimes when they pass on turn one, I play a unit and then all of a sudden they play their Zoe. I don't understand. He's like, kind of want to. Pike right now? Because I'd rather guarantee to lurk this turn than like next turn, right? And I need Pike by turn four. So I think we do it this turn. Okay, now I think we have to do it again right here. Because we need Pike to be at four. These jewels are more than your trinkets. Okay, we hit Lurk, thank god. This is not the way. I have annoying actually, but whatever. They say these were from the protector himself. So keeping one mana here never makes sense, right? You always just develop. If I could keep two, it might be fine. I actually can't even level up Pike this turn. Because I mean because he can't level up Nami this turn. Can I actually like let he might that means he may not play Nami, right? Means I can just play like this. I think. Fuck. Oh, the one health went. Oh, one attack went away. I actually for forgot about that. So maybe I should just attack with my fearsome. It's really good that we hit all the lurks, finally, fucking. Wait, you don't main deck the 0 2, never mind, I see it, my bad. Oh, yeah. Then the, the, the 2 is super important. Oh, the 0 2 is really important. So we can't actually beat Vigor. Oh, we beat um, Pale. He would use the Pale, though, so it's probably Vigor here. This kind of feels bad. Um, but we do have a Bone Skewer. We still do five, and five is like usually the threshold you want to have, because you do five with a strike, 
You do five with a you do you do five with the pike spell. You do five with a strike. Um. I guess I'm down to pass. Oh, you know what? Actually, I probably should have done. I probably should have played um, Snapjaw Swarm. I was kind of just thinking of being able to Bone Skewer the, the same turn as Pike, but that's kind of like there's no reason to do that. I think I should have Snapjaw Swarmed, and if I hit Lurk, I actually play around Vigor. I mean, if he takes his pass, I probably Lurry, accept it. You want to stay off my list. Um. I kind of want to kill it, but him buffing just these little, um, these units, I don't think I care about them that much. I think I just play for the pike win con. And he hasn't played any, um... He hasn't played any invokes to be able to stun my pike. I think we're good. Also, I don't think I... Um, ah. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Like, do I ever drag this a pike? It still dies through hush, right? Um, am I actually supposed to bone skewer right now to get another pike? <sighs> oh, I, I don't really want to kill all these things. Like he he gets like all these. I mean, maybe I should. Um, like from just playing this matchup a lot, usually what I try to do. Um, I don't know if it's correct, but it's what's, what I what I've been having success with is playing very slow against Nami and them. Especially when he only has um like unit like actual units, not elusives. And then going for like a jawfish late game and killing his whole board and then like and then attacking or um playing the Pike Wincon. But like I don't think I let Pike I don't know if I let Pike die here. Cause I have to hit another Pike. I think I have to do this. And um keep a Pike in, um, on top of my deck. Also, I, I kinda wanna try it for science, but I'm like 9 absent here it doesn't work. Is um, if I snap jaw swarm, do I turn this pike into a death from below? I don't think so, right? Because I already I already lurked, and you can only lurk once per turn. And people have told me that, but I don't know if it works. Like it only says max once per round. Yeah, so I don't think I would get the pike. So I'd just be kind of wasting this. But I really I really want that um spell, obviously. Oh fuck. What have I played? It's, it's, it's just a f Did he play the wrong spell? What have I played? I've played um Bone Skewer. You can't copy Pike spell. Oh I played Call the Pack. So he has he he had Call the Pack or um Bone Skewer and obviously he took Bone Skewer, so Wait really? He wants to do? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want to save that for Pike? Hmm. Ah, I always have some other Pike. Me. Uh. So he has a he has a pike spell. I mean he has a bone skewer. So 
See, I like Jawfish. Because, like, I Jawfish, he'd obviously fucking, um... He kills my Pike. But then he's dealing with, like, four units here, and he can only play one. Unless he has double trouble, I guess, which would kind of be annoying. It's gotta be Jaw, right? His Pike dies regardless, I can't protect him. Uh, Rek'Sai, if, if I hit an alert naturally, does level up though. And he already wasted a hush. And maybe I save Jaw for like, more important units to kill. I can see that. Now the question is, do I... Do I call the pack right now? Cause I can just play this next turn. Maybe try to get one more unit to go wider with. Okay, he actually he actually just top decked that second hush. <laughs> yeah, then we want to go wider, right? We got another jaw. He's gonna always bone through this. Actually, we attack with this first, just in case, but it it, it never gets through. He blocks this and bone skewers into the pike. Right. It's not a surprise, sir. Oh my god! I'm still good to scrap! Yeah, that's why I saved them. Um, that's why I th I've like, if I just attacked all those things, like, it makes like, um, Dollfish like really bad. Oh, that's still there because of fucking Hush, but it doesn't matter, right? I think I wait. He always wants to attack you, right? Okay, I was, hoping he, I was thinking he might play another thing. It's fine though. Yeah, so if we attacked earlier, these would all be dead. And for what? Like, there's no reason they needed to die. Also, he's on the box to push version instead of the um, star, whatever the fuck. Argo fly. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what he's looking for, but... I, I um... What would I be scared of here? Like, why would, would I ever be scared to develop here? If I just attack... He could block one, hit a lucky make it rain... And like... Is this a guaranteed win? But if I develop, isn't that still a guaranteed win? Because I just play that and then Jawfish? Um. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he didn't surrender. But I was thinking like um he might have like another bone skewer or something. And then maybe I lose. Like if he has like lucky make rain or bone skewer, I don't know. Like but he wasn't surrendering when I submitted the, like when the fake submitted the attack. I figured might as well just develop then. Doesn't Nami just auto lose to round 8? Like if you make it that far? Kinda yeah. It's, it's kinda hard to be Jawfish. Or Pike, yeah. The problem is though that they usually beat me like... I think I lose to them most of the time. I mean, I've actually beat it a good amount of the time as well. It's definitely beatable, but the thing is you have to hit every single Lurk. Cause you have to be able to threaten the Nami on turn 4 with a Pike spell. So you have to like Lurk every single round and one of them usually wants to be a Pike. Unless you, unless you can just get a bone skewer. Mm -hmm. 
I'm actually kind of down for call the pack because I'm I always get a fucking pike and I always draw a fucking pike legit. So now I can just call the pack and throw my fucking pike in the deck <laughs> and guarantee lurk it. Go get the Please don't miss lurk again. Please. Oh fuck, I just noticed I got some follows. Um, oh, I guess I should have played this. I forgot they have a lot of um, one attack units. Um, Victors, if you're still there, thank you for the follow. Um, Phil Runner, thank you for the follow. Timber Saw, thank you for the follow. Low Power, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I, I'm <laughs> I really gotta look into it tomorrow. I keep saying I will. But um, I don't know how to get the alerts to um, come to my fucking ears. I know other streamers like hear it and they're like aware of it. I don't hear it, so I have to like look on my feed and see the follows. I, s I swear I set up the alerts like on the page. I don't know why they don't. I don't hear them. Might be a weird sound setting thing. Uh, if he really doesn't have any actions, I'm d I'm definitely gonna want to develop. I like sneeze. I keep going away though. Fuck. Why do you not want to play that by the way? That's strange. Doesn't matter. I don't think they have anything in the deck that would, would punish this, right? The cap that two attack. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I mean, actually, maybe it's just to play um Zerksai because if I do hit like Rexai right there, we're threatening so much more damage because he doesn't want to block this, right? So yeah, it was actually we're supposed to play Zerksai right there. For some reason, I thought he was gonna block like regardless, but. Mayor, he doesn't want to block, and then we just push for fucking infinite because of Rex side. Because right now he doesn't feel that bad not blocking. He goes, eh, six damage is fine. But he'd be taking um, he'd be taking three more. He'd be at eleven, and that kind of that could very well matter. We made it, yay! But our stuff did it. And look at. I guess we play this just because we want to be able to um, kill that thing. One. Fuck. Um, I didn't really want it to be Pike right there, but I mean, um, we can just call the pack Pike. I, I wanted to call the pack Rexai, but um, Pike is better, I think. The actual scary thing is that if he does another aloof, <laughs> our pike actually gets discarded. This is kind of scary, actually. So next turn, we call the pack onto pike. So we can just play this. We could just play it legit, no? Ah, oh, he has a removal for it though. I'm not gonna play this first, see what he does. So if he can't kill my pike this turn, I'd actually rather just play the pike, I guess, legit. Nah, he can kill it.
No FJ in the meta is rough. So much. Go wide aggro. What do you mean by FJ, by the way? Sorry if I'm, if that's dumb. Oh, failure, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, I actually, like, I actually played, I made um, my old Sa Swain Sejuani deck. And it felt really good, because in shit like this, just having avalanches and flocks just fucks up, like, all their, bo all their boards. Hmm. This attack kind of sucks. Do I just send it all? Yeah, I'm kind of don't think I beat this guy. I'm down to just fucking send it on. He gets really good trades and whatever. If he takes all this, that, we actually have a chance to win. Nah, fuck. We do have overwhelm of Rek'Sai. Never mind. Well, that's why I was playing Failured with um, Noxus. It's like actually probably the other worst region for drawing, but like I was playing on Whispered Words at least to draw some cards. Let me just pike this right now. And then we have to take a five. Maybe more. I how wide he goes. This is actually kind of funny. Like this punishes his attack. I really care about his, his attack though. Oh, I really wanted a bone skewer. I think I actually passed and I try to get like a pike or bone skewer. Hmm. Actually, if I take a um predict, then I can try to get a Rek'Sai next turn and then do um and then I can play Rek'Sai. Yeah, still don't hold the candle to Bandler's sign though. They literally just never. Yeah, exactly. I feel you. But yeah, avalanches and like um that um four mana ravine, right? Um, avalanche and ravine are really good, and they and they turbo level scion so fast. Oh, that's not good that he can drag this and and flock it, man. That's not good. Fuck. He's so lucky. Oh, dude, Nara would be sick. I actually want Nara. Fuck! He always just fucks, right? It's so crazy that he got that challenger. It's actually so crazy. Cause he used so many pings already that like he actually might not have been able to um uh. I kinda needed that strike. Oh uh, we we actually mm, I think we lose. We might have one attack next turn. And actually, this might be the way to do it, right? Oh no. He can get the stun or the fucking Equinox, man. <sighs> fucking, fucking fuck.
He has such a small amount of health. Please don't, please don't Equinox that. If he has Equinox or stun, <laughs> actually, we actually have a chance if he doesn't have those. Also, he's not playing a card. <sighs> Wonder why. Oh? That's kind of annoying, that's a lot of health. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, what if we get the, um... No, I was gonna say, what if we get the, um... If we get the... Vulnerable one? Okay, if we get the vulnerable one... We can vulnerable away the 7-7. And then, um... We need the vulnerable one, I think, though. No. No stun. No Equinox. Bro, really? No. I wonder if they're still uh, if they're releasing solo cards for each region to the. I hope so, right? Like a little, like they usually will, but may it might just be a little bit though. Yeah, I lost. I think he's only a fucking eight out of ten. If I do these, I can get 7 damage in. Imagine that was fucking 10. I imagine that was like 9. <laughs> that was a bit more. No. Please, please, you don't have another one. If he doesn't have another one. Wait, do I actually win? Do we win? If we attack, even if he does like, um... Even if he does like, what, many morph? It's still three, right? Shouldn't have healing in the deck? And we could also play that, but like... Am I missing anything? Is there any reason not to like attack right now? Cause like if I just play this, it has spell shield. I'm pretty sure we win, right? What could he have in his deck that stops this? Let's go. I really just don't like playing as Nami. Like pills, oh man! Like like all of these cards cycle. Like pill cascade, drawing another card, guiding touch, drawing another card. Um, spell thief counting is like kind of like um cycling. Like all his cards in his deck like fucking cycle. Invoke like cycles. So you just they okay, they have infinite spells and each spell like gives them something else to fucking play. It's really annoying.
Alright, please don't miss Lurk. Please. Quick hands make quick work. <laughs> How many times can I miss Lurk? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. What a shame for you! If I don't hit Lurk this round, I'm like, so bad. So I, I could develop, um, Sharkling. Um, but like, I think he always just plays Waking Sands though, and then I just feel awkward. Maybe that's enough, like, to, like, fucking up his development is maybe good enough. But yeah, Zoe Nami is, yeah, infinite hand size, it's so annoying. Like, but yeah, like that Zoe, like when you th really think about it, when the guiding, draw a card. Pale, draw a card. Um. I guess I just play my own, right? So he always like makes this quick attack, drags that, that trades into that, so I don't, I don't really care. Come on, Rip. Um, yeah, spell thief, basically a spell that draws, cheap spell draws a card. Um, the invokes are pretty cheap, two mana isn't like super cheap, but again, you draw another card. And a lot of times you can draw the, um, yeah, and, the, and like, um, and if you get that, uh, fucking, what is it called? The fucking coin, whatever. Um, if you get the coin, um, it's a zero mana fucking spell. <laughs> so crazy. Please hit Lurk, please hit Lurk, please hit Lurk, please hit Lurk. Oh, is it Rex Fire? Okay. Missed Lurk turn one, but we actually caught back up. I will run you over. Damn, if we actually had another call to pack, we could actually level up Rex Fire next turn. Kind of crazy. Um, if he plays like a barrier, I guess we just attack with the sandstone. We're putting on a lot of pressure, I think, this turn. Yeah, so, um, if I play a Rek'Sai here, Rexai, this Rexai turns into a Call of the Pack, but then I just, but then I'd use Call of the Pack onto what? One of these? And then Rexai would give me plus one and I'd have a regular Lurk, so I'd be at nine. So, but if I had another Call of the Pack, I could play Rexai and then Call of the Pack this Rexai. And then, um, so if I had like another Rexai or Call of the Pack in hand, um, I would get ten and I could level it up. I'm actually down for like a jawfish, I think. Because like, two of his cards can't trade without using a spell. Um, I think I'm fine. And he always drags us with some quick attack. 
He doesn't want to. He doesn't really want to block this. I think he kind of had a bad hand. I mean, that's fine. Like getting rid of Shapestone. Um, fine by me. Y'all kind of feels not as good though now. Yeah, maybe I should take the one drop. And it's fearsome too. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of trolled. I was thinking too far. Like, there's no reason to be. Out here, yeah, because I just think to develop like twice. Another Rek'Sai? It's actually lethal. He has to block this. <laughs> I just blinded three fucking Rek'Sai's. No, I had one in hand, right? So I, I called the packed one, and then I had the other one. So he has to use that. And now he can't get quick attack to keep that alive. So yeah, it's really bad that I um took this, because I, I can be playing the one drop and just have open attack lethal. Let's go. I mean, this thing kind of sucked, but at least we just hit like all of our three rectiles. Oh, sea bass. Damn it, Draven Caitlin. Um, I think we lose to Draven Caitlyn. I think we lose pretty bad. I'd rather play this, but I want to lose to it. I don't want to get third quarter from there. Okay, I actually hit Lurk. Wow. We hit a Lurk turn one. Winnable Copium? Okay, you always hit this, right? Lurk, 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 Lurk. It's a bike. We're hitting the lurks. It's time. It's fucking time. So I'm, I want to do this first, um, because I might want to play vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. It's such a cool effect. I like it. it looks badass. So, yeah, I think that I just try to kill the, um, this fucking dude. And we don't, we don't drag with this one just in case we fucking get, um, we miss Lurk. Fuck, we didn't miss. We probably should've done it. <laughs> Also, I could have dragged with the four one. I just felt like it'd be it, it's it's too easy to kill that, but maybe it doesn't matter. Cause I feel like he always is able to um kill like I think two and one health is like no different for him to stop if he wanted to practice for Graven. So I think that like we should have attacked um we should have dragged it with the four one. Although it is fearsome. That, that might actually matter. But I think they run time wander and like static. Me miss. Not by a long shot. This is a pike and open. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. PS survival skill is actually pretty pretty good right now. I don't know if they run in that night deck though. Hey, we got him! Yeah, our open attack was pretty nuts next turn. I mean, I don't know if we would have opened though because of all the spells, but... We're in a really good position, obviously. Do nuts? That like, I should probably play around, um, like me playing around just specifically the stun spell. I feel like he has lower odds of getting that stun spell than like having a hand that could survive that attack. 
So it might just be always correct to um to just develop. Cause again he has to block Pike. Yeah, that's just so lame. Okay look, I have three I have three of my fucking nine um non lurk cards. If I miss lurk here, I have to quit. Okay, thank god. Yeah, dude, if you made 3 mana, it would actually be so... I would fucking love this game. <laughs> I was thinking he might want to play like... He might try to be baiting me and play like the barrier unit. If I just play another one of these, it's like whatever, right? I guess he can get me now. Like if you if you slow roll that whole thing, but like why do I care about about this? Like he can just block it next turn. Like what is the point of that? Yeah. I am confusion. He does have Lulu. Yeah, I wanted to pass and have him play Lulu and then I just make it vulnerable and, and attack it. But I feel like if I were to pass, he would just pass. Also, I'm down for him blocking this with Lulu, because then it makes it health weak um, to be able to kill with Bone Skewer later. So he really wants like Young Witch or something, because he like he doesn't want to attack with that like straight up. He either wants like the Barrier or Young Witch. If you want something done right, yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Do I just immediately bone skewer that? Or do I save it for like Pike later? Um, that's gonna be a mistake letting him do that much damage. Okay, he didn't rally, which is really good. Hmm. I'm a bit scared. Dude, if Sparkle was at 3 mana though, that'd be so good. Be so good. Yeah, not being able to pull it off weapon would be so good for the game. I think. Like, I don't fully mind if the card exists, but yeah, 3 mana would be... Would be really good. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? He doesn't want to block any of these, right? But he already has to. We had another Pike Spell, that's so good. Oh my god, if we, if this doesn't die and we get this strike off, then we have like, we have a full board wipe with um, Pike. That's so good. I really hope we get the strike off and he doesn't like barrier or something or post. Cause you have five, five, and then, then Pike spell for the last five. Take your time. That's so good. So 
next time we're gonna have um Vim, vigor, victory. We have eight mana, so we can pike spell, we can do this, and we still have enough for bone. I kinda wanna increase the um attack of pike. Also, he doesn't want to block this or anything. Like, that makes no sense to block. He doesn't want to block with this or this or this. You best I don't play. Um, I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm scared of this, am I? Although, maybe I do just, um, death from below. Before it's too late. Sometimes I try to greed this weapon, this thing off, and I and I end up regretting it. But I think if I get rid of this quick attack, it's really good for me. And we still have a bone skewer or uh, waking sands. I also could get rid of um, mayor because if I get rid of mayor, he actually can't play a um, a poppy still. But I think this is fine because then if he just attacks with this, um, he doesn't get the quick attack on everything. On like the bird. Poppy, the might's the hero beyond this very field. Huh? I sure hope so. Let me know if you find him. Got him. Yeah, maybe it was getting rid of Mayor. But then he can't play uh Poppy right there. <laughs> I've actually been winning a lot today with Lurk Sunny for so I can just remake the video today. But yeah, because of the way I um I like cheese my music onto my file, it like when I when they it was playing ads, it was like built into the file, so I couldn't even do anything about it. Pretty bad. Yeah, no, you did it smart. Also, I heard about this um this program that will just like give you um non copyright music like files, and that would probably be better because then I can just plug it into the bottom of the video and just play no music at all in the background. I'm trying to figure that out because if I can have actual audio files of non copyright music. You just easily just throw it into one of the um, the slots, and you can change like that. It'll be really good. You can change the volume of it and everything in there. I always have like right. Let's go. So this is a lot of damage, I think. Yeah, he has to use a spell. But he, I think he was debating it because now he can um, play mayor. He has to have another unit, right? Oh, it's really good though. He can't, if he wants to block this, he can't even. And blocking this is really good because that's like, unless he has another one, that's his only way to get Ionia cards other than the tree. We're putting a lot of pressure on, which is good. Killer again. Yeah. I was gonna say, um, 
Are you good with penalty decks with Lurk? It's not, um, it's not that bad. It's like, okay, like if I get like, oh, like decent openers, um, I think maybe we just go like wide. Cause like, this is like, this is already threatening lethal right now because of, um, the fearsome. And then we can do this and try to get more cards. But if he can't kill these, we actually have, um, lethal right now. I'm a little bit sicker than most. Oh, he, he, I think he's dead here. That's it, it's all his mana. I actually lose that way. <laughs> High rolling, yeah, you're actually right. Yeah, like having a way to beat like almost any deck just just if you high roll is pretty nuts. Alright. Puppy Lulu. We just need Pike. Pike is love, Pike is life. Do I ever keep call the pack because I know I'm gonna fucking just draw a random ass Pike? I'm like the Pike Whisperer. And then guarantee lurk him. It's actually a pretty good hand. I always hit Lurk here, I always hit Lurk here, I always hit Lurk. He said you always keep call the pack? I mean, that makes sense. I didn't know that, but... Yeah, obviously there's like probably some rare scenarios. But yeah, call the pack is just like when you get when you dead draw a champion, you just want to be able to call the pack. Or Rexai. Hmm. I don't really want to miss a lurk. A lot of times I try to skip and get a champion, but if you just miss lurk, it just feels really bad. So nothing can trade into that, which is really good. Um, I figure, and he could block this, but I don't think he wants to. So I, uh, I mean, and it's kind of fine. I mean, he did get his Ionia out of the way, but actually, no, wait, he's not even playing Metal Tree, is he? Well, it's probably good to make this die, because he can just get infinite units. Get another one. GG. Serving leg. Should I predict first before this snapjaw? Yeah, probably. I want to do it right now before you play something, but yes. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Bloodblade's not bad. Yeah, I seen one of Bloodblade on that guy who like. Got um he he one tricked Lurk to Masters in NA. He runs one of Bloodbait. He's running two I think, but he switched it to one. Yeah, I never hit Rex High though, so I wouldn't know how good it is. <laughs> See what I've learned? I think I want to slow play because I think I just really need to um Man, it's actually so good to to, to pike here. And then attack. Like if I pike something, 
And then attack off? How, how can he punish that? Oh, he punishes it by having that fucking buster shot, right? Can be undone. Miss Lurk, GG. I think I save for Poppy. You can't Poppy now, so I guess you just drop this shit. If you want something done right, let me do it. Okay, now we have something to protect Pike, which is really good. If he does the Buster Shot. If he plays Poppy, which he, I don't think he will, um, this turn, then we don't have to worry about protecting this because you will not have enough for Buster Shot. Do you do, money? <laughs> do I care about that? <sighs> no, because you can still Buster Shot and we can't protect, so... Just chill. Like, what's funny is that we can actually kill this 3 2 with this. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I think taking two damage is fine, right? It's a bit scary on this, but... I could kill this too. But if he has group shot, then it just dies. You could group shot this, I guess, but I don't really care. And if he keeps this alive, it's like, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's quick attack, I guess, so that's pretty good. Though. Um, do I just pike this then? Save some health. You can't kill it this turn. Ink? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if, if, he, if he has no way to stop my pike from attacking right there, which I guess I should open attack because of Buster Shot, and then I get the strike, um, and then I'm just a one, one um, bone skewer from wiping his whole board, right? Yeah, it's really good. That, that exactly too. Like the fearsome is really good early as well. Yeah, you you have you have overwhelm because of the um. You have overwhelm because they have tiny little stat lines. Yeah, you have overline to you have overwhelm to finish them off. Um, then you can do fearsome early, and then you can also pike board wipe, um, or jaw hunter board wipe. But dude, since you've been here, I've been hitting all my fucking turn one lurks. It's too lit. Darkness, okay, if I miss Lurk here, I just like lose, no? If I play this and miss Lurk... <laughs> oh, so risky. I always hit. I don't though. I don't always hit. <laughs> I've been missing so much today, I'm too scared. Like, even though I already have two... Okay, would I have hit? I would have missed! 
I, Sonny, you almost fucking debated the shit out of me. Holy shit, report- someone report him. We can always rely on Dude, you would've caught me fucking hard shit it on. You must have like a vial piece or something, right? If I have Waking Sands, he just vials this, blocks this, I do 2 damage. This way I do, I get vial feasted, he block, I do 2 damage. It's no diff, right? It's no diff, but this has a, at least a fucking chance I get extra damage in. Basically 0 chance though. Bring me your darkest white set, comrade! See what I've learned? Steady now. Dude, I can't believe I would have I would have missed that Larry. <laughs> I'm so sad. If he actually has Vile Feast here, okay, Pokestack is fine. But listen, if he actually had Vile Feast, he's a fucking biggest weirdo for not Vile Feasting before. Ha! Huh. Eat this. Fuck! Oh. How? <laughs> hey, give me the vulnerable one. Why didn't I predict first? I'm fucking. So, I'm actually so bad at the game. I just realized. Why did I not predict first? Bro, well, I didn't even fucking realize this. I was thinking of saving it for my next attack. I was literally thinking of saving it for next attack because I don't want to play. But I have another pick next turn. <laughs> so bad at this game. I could get Pike Spell. I could have had Pike Spell for next turn. I mean, oh, no. I think we lost. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I'm so bad. I just want to FF after that. Oh, another pike. <laughs> okay, we have infinite pikes. <laughs> but I need the pike right this turn, though. Although if I pike, I, I die and I came in bone steer to protect it. I mean it's already it's already too high, right? Wait wait that can that can fuck up my rec size and shit though. Fuck, fuck! It, I actually had to kill it this turn. I actually trolled so hard. I'm actually so bad at the game. Watch your head. Lock this, trust. <sighs> Did you call me? Oh, like Bow or something? Pokey? Poking my ass? Did I play Overwhelm actually? One goes down, thousands to go. I have to kill Sunai because of fast speed, I think. Wait, I can kill it right now, right? What? 
Do I kill it right now? Because then that, that can't kill this then, right? Like if I kill this right now, he, um, I can play this next turn. And then, um... And then he can't, um, he can't fucking darkness it. Wait, darkness is my pike, though. Ah, she don't, ah, okay. I think we... Fuck. Okay, so he, he always wants to darkness the pike, right? And so once he goes to darkness this pike, we can, we can, um, bone scare pike into Vigar. He's at four mana. Then we can replay this, right? Which means we play this, I guess. We want to take that line. And then we can still, we can still do this if we want. I don't really know what we do here. I think we bone screw the pike into the Vigar though, when he darknesses. And then um we can replay Pike and we can replay Waking Sands. And then we also get um We also would get another Pike spell if we if we bone screw before the attack. Right? I think. I think he's waiting for Rek'Sai, because that does 6. He has Vile now, that's really good. Wait, that's 3 mana, right? He stuns these two, which is really annoying though. Oh, it, it, it fizzles. What? Damn, we got him! <laughs> and I was about to surrender after I misplayed the heart. <laughs> We're not fucking predicting first. We're tailing. Dude, Pike's actually so good. Pike's so good. Yeah, team OK is a bit scary. A lot of removal. Is this is this troll to just guarantee a pipe? I'm kind of down. We'll test it. Hopefully, we get a one drop. Please. We got a one drop. Never punish. You just fucking lurk, man! It never fails! Plenty left, I guess Sunny stopped watching, unlucky. Quick hands make quick work. He actually just blocks this and that. I guess I do five if he does that, right? What a mushroom help. Like he has to choose whether he wants to just trade on the board and take five, which I am happy to do. Think. Is 
If we didn't miss Lurk, man. If we didn't miss Lurk, you wouldn't be able to do that. Our pike is three attack. Oh no. I don't want oh, no. you up. I'm scared. That's so many fucking shrimps. You might actually pass it up. No, uh, yeah, I was gonna say. You might not want me to develop. Your body doesn't even care though. Like, I missed Lurk. I missed Lurk on one. And so all I did was Lurk on two. On three. I'm fucking plus one on turn five. He always hits fucking call the pack because he's a good player. Cool. Very cool, very fun. Oh, I unlocked the Teemo deck? <laughs> what do you mean? Like you wanna know what the list is? I can find his list for you if you want after. Man, the pranks are really annoying with Puppet Peddler especially. I had the game recently, but not seeing Timo at all. Oh, uh, try, I'll, I'll show you after this, but try to play, um... Try to, um, play P and Z in the rewards tab. I think that Pike's dead though now. I missed Lurk again! I missed it again! Oh, How? Oh, you picked that one up. I wonder if I'm supposed to be piking those. Oh, that's really good protection for Pike. I guess you play the one he already he knows I have. It might not matter. If I lose because of one damage though, I'm gonna freaking flip. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I played the one that he could see. Like, what's the point of surprising him on turn fucking nine? <laughs> I've always been a fun guy. Oh wow, I hit her. Hey, Rex High. Lit. Obviously, you kill Pike. Like, what are you waiting for? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. I'm a peddler, not a meddler.
Are running a deep dive deck? Oh no, it's actually similar. It, it's actually kind of similar. Like a lot of fishes and shit. You know, actually reminded me though, I actually want to play deep. I'll probably play deep tomorrow. I'm, uh, this might be my last game actually. I have to make a, a lurk video. I'm a peddler. Um, wait, wh why, why block that? Yeah, I don't know. Don't those fools know I own this? I'm kind of scared. That could be like a lot of pup calves. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Only four. It is vulnerable, though. Yeah, why did I play this? It's vulnerable. It's so bad. So my next card is um Rex Side though, right? Okay, that's a bit scary. You can kill one. Years in the making. We actually should have played this one first. If we play this one first, it would have made no difference except for the fact that we'd have guaranteed lethal. Um, just open attacking even if we don't hit Lurk. But in case he has many more, we play this, I think. Wait, do we lose? Does he have enough? He couldn't kill me, right? Okay, thank god. <laughs> I was like... Oh, uh, we do have guaranteed lethal, yeah, yeah. So the Vex side damage. He didn't have any more um, spell anymore. Alright, sweet. Um... Yeah, we won like a shitload with Lurk today. 